Welcome to The Secret Yarnery. My name is Krista. Today we are making this super sweet yarn on the arm bag. And it means just that it is yarn for your arm. So it's a sweet little bag that holds one ball of yarn. It's not a project bag. It is just for you to put in your yarn so you can stand or walk and crochet with your yarn right beside you, staying clean and easily accessible from the center of your ball of yarn. So let's get started. I'm going to use these two uh, shades of natural cotton. So these are uh, rated a three. It's a light yarn and it's for a four millimeter needle, so about a five millimeter crochet hook. I am using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need scissors and a darning needle eventually. So just, you can decide which way you want your colors to go, if you want to highlight in your bright color or whatever colors you want, but you pick your color for the bottom of your bag. We're going to start at the bottom of the bag. To start, we're going to make a magic ring. To make a magic ring, put your tail over your non-dominant hand, so you're looking at your tail, and wrap, hold, your, hold the yarn on your ring finger with your thumb, wrap your yarn around two fingers making an X, and around that third finger, keeping some space in there, and hold it with your thumb. Turn your hand over, you have a long strand and a, you have a short strand and a long strand. Put your hook underneath the short strand, hook side down, grab the long strand and bring it under and through, point the hook towards yourself, point the hook away from yourself, wrap the long strand around your hook, let go of that tension now, let that yarn come up, have it loose, and pull it through that loop you made on your hook. Let everything go, and straighten out your tail. Now we are going to chain two. One, and two. Now get your tail lying straight along your ring, and your yarn ready to go. You're going to be making 11 double crochets into the ring, and going over that tail. So wrap your yarn, put your hook into the ring, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So that's a double crochet. And our chain two is also going to count as a double crochet. So we're going to do a total of 11 double crochets and including our chain it'll make 12. So a chain two plus 11 double crochets into the ring going over the tail. So just count to make sure you have 12. So remember to count your chain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now you're going to pull your tail to tighten your ring. And this one you want to tighten it completely. You want that hole to be gone. So pull it really nice and tight. I put my tail up over my work and kind of like put it, put my hook under it so it stays with my loop. And you're going to go into that second chain. Oh, it's gotten windy, that's nice. So just into this, the top of the chain two. Grab your yarn, oops. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Grab your, and turn your hook and bring it through that loop. So that's a slip stitch. And because we put our tail up, our tail is now in, on our next round. So now we can go over that tail a little bit. Make sure it's snug. Make sure it hasn't opened up. And you can just pull your loop up, take your hook out, and just wrap this, this tail just around these back loops. So just over and over a few times. That'll just help work it in as you're going around. It'll help you not have to use a darning needle. Like so. Alright. Now we'll chain two again. One and two. And we're going to go into that same spot where we have our chain we're just going to go into that spot and make a double crochet. So where we did the chain, we do one more double crochet. 
so that counts as two, and then into each stitch we do two double crochets. So at the end of this round we'll have 24. So two double crochets into each stitch. You can work over your tail from your, from your magic ring. And I'll see you at the end of this round. So now make sure you have your 24. So I just count my pairs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that's my 24 for this round. And you're going to slip stitch to the chain 2. So that stitch at the top, that's your double crochet. So we're not crocheting into that one or slip stitching into that one. We're going to go into this chain on the side. So put your hook in, getting two loops on your hook. Keep your tension tight, bring your yarn back, turn your hook, and bring it through. So there's your slip stitch. We're doing a chain two just to keep it um, tight on that side. We don't want it uh, loose with a bigger hole. So I find a chain two really helps. So we're going to do that again, chain two, and instead of going into the same stitch, we're going to make two double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. And then a d one double crochet into the next, and an increase of two double crochets into the next. So we're doing an increase, and then a single, and then an increase, and then well, an increase and then one double crochet and then an increase and then one double crochet. So we're just alternating making a pair of double crochets and then one all by itself all the way around. So at the end of this round we'll have an extra 12 stitches so we'll be up to 36. So keep going I'll meet you at the end of this round. Into the last stitch you're going to do your increase of two double crochets. If you haven't then go back and check where you went wrong because we started just with a chain two and then we went to the next one to do an increase so how we're going to end our rows is with our or end our rounds is with the increase so that's just a quick way of not having to count if you ended up with your increase in the last stitch chances are you did it right so into this second stitch it's the one just on the side here not the top the top, that one's your double crochet so just get in there somewhere two loops on your hook in a perfect world and slip stitch to join. So that is three rounds and we are doing one, two, three, four rounds. So one more round. One, two, so chain two. So into the next stitch one double crochet so that counts as two double crochets so far, one into each stitch. Into the third, we're doing an increase, so two double crochets into the third stitch. And then one double crochet into the first, one double crochet into the second, and two double crochets into the third. So that's your increase. So one double crochet into the first, one double crochet into the second, two double crochets into the third. So keep going like that all the way around and I will see you at the join. Into the last stitch, it's our increase. So that's also our safety check that we did our stitch count right. If you don't or if you aren't doing your increase in the last stitch, go back and see where you messed up. Usually it's me in the beginning, I forget to count that chain two as a double crochet. So I do my chain and then I do my two double crochets and then I do my increase and then that gets my stitch count off. Not the end of the world, you can just fudge it on this side, but just make sure you added 12 stitches. So now you're at 48. So slip stitch into this chain two, this one halfway up, just to pull up that side. Sorry if that construction is annoying. It's across the road on the other side of the house. So it's just echoing across that empty field. We did our slip stitch, chain three, one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn and we're gonna be doing 
back post double crochet. So you put your hook underneath your work from behind and point your hook towards yourself in one of those spaces, the space right where you where your next uh, stitch is, and then push your hook back behind. So you just have one double crochet on your hook. And I'm pinching my work, you know, I'm I'm not I'm moving it. I'm not I'm not working like this. Really turn your work around. It's a lot easier. Wrap your yarn and bring it under. And then just do your double crochet like usual. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So then if you unfold your work, you will see that you did a back post double crochet. So same in, around the next double crochet. We're going to do it on every double crochet of this round. Put your hook in towards yourself and then back uh, to the back of your work. So you have one double crochet on your hook and then you do a double crochet. So bring your yarn back, take off two, take off two. So now you've done two. So you can see what it does. It gives us a nice edge at the bottom of our the bottom of our work. You can see on this one, it gives us a nice edge. I can even take that ball out. So you have like a seam at the bottom of your bag. So it looks really pretty. So that is what we're doing, doing this nice edge. So that is back post double crochet. So put your hook in and towards yourself and then back again. And now I pinch all my work so all just that double crochet is sticking up and then do your double crochet. So you're going to do that all the way around, making one back post double crochet on each double crochet all around your work. And I will meet you at the join. Oh, just a side note, if these, if these, uh, if this stitch is tricky for you or you get frustrated, you can always just do your regular double crochets. You just, your bag will be the same stitch count, it just won't have that cute kind of flat look bottom. It'll still work out, but I think this looks cute, but give it a try. Give yourself some time to get used to dragging your yarn through. The trick really is pinching your work, like holding it like that, moving your work around instead of trying to move your hook and your yarn around. And then you'll get this really nice cute edge. So give that a try and I will see you at the join. So we have one last one to do. Our chain lines up with our chain so we know that goes together. So this one here is our last stitch. So I'll just go into that one doing my last back post double crochet. And now we did a chain three for this one, for our, the side of our bag, so I'll join to the top there, that the third chain, slip stitch to join. So now we're back to easy street. I'm going to chain, I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to make a double crochet into that same spot. So my chain one is not counting as a stitch, but it'll help bulk up where we join, so the join won't be so obvious. And now one double crochet into each stitch going all the way around and I will meet you at the join. So again you can line up your chain with your chain so that's together and then you see you have one more stitch to do. Just make sure you don't go into that little guy over there thinking that's a stitch because that's where we chained. So that I just line up my chains and make sure that like those ones are done and then I line up the rest just to make sure. Now to slip stitch, remember we did that chain one, so we're ignoring that. We're going to go into this nice tall one at the top. So that's our first real double crochet and where you want to slip stitch to naturally. So just slip stitch nice and tight over there keeping some good tension and chain one again and double crochet into that same spot for your first double crochet and now keep going around doing your one double crochet into each stitch and slip stitching to the first real double crochet to join. You want to do for this sweet project one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to do eight rows including that one we did into the back the back post. 
So eight in total to work up your side. So we have done one, which is our back posts, two, so we're on our third. So do a total of eight rows and I will meet you back. If you enjoy doing things with yarn and crocheting and uh, you enjoy this tutorial, please like, subscribe and share. We have new videos coming up at least once a week and when you subscribe, you get a little notification when you uh, open YouTube that there's a video for you to watch. So that's how it helps you keep up with what we're doing. So something to do, it's a little red button down below. Keep going, I'll meet you when you're finished all these rows. There are our eight rows and you can see you can see the join but it's not too well it doesn't have the holes in it anyway eight rows it still looks really small like it's gonna be too short but don't worry about it we've joined our yarn we've slip stitched so now I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn and pull my hook up and my yarn out and just tighten that down and then I'm going to work in my tail just with my hook and into the back loops only I'm going to go forward a good chunk about six stitches usually just loosely you don't want to do it tight but just work it forward give it a bit of a pull and then and then bring it back a couple stitches just so it's going back along itself like so get your new color yarn whatever yarn you're going to be using for your handles so now we're going to be doing this top part so whatever color you want that to be I'm using this nice light brown so I want to join kind of in the same area as this just so we have one side of our bag that has the general imperfections but I don't want to join right on top of that bulk because I don't want one side to have a lot more bulk than the other so I guess I'll go a little bit more on this side here you can join anywhere you want it's not a problem it's up to you so I'm gonna join about three stitches back and put a I put my hook into that stitch and put a loop of yarn on my hook and I'm gonna bring it back and slip stitch with both to join like that I'm gonna drop my tail I'm gonna work over it going along this side into the next stitch single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around remember you don't want to be adding stitches so here we did our chain and our double but that counts as one stitch so how I do that one I go into the first one it's tight but I do a, I bring my yarn back like I'm doing a single crochet but I leave it on my hook and then I go into the next stitch if I can get into the next stitch like nope that and that so into the next stitch and I want to start another double crochet so now there's three loops on my hook I'm going to take all three loops off so that was a decrease but it just makes it look um, it looks like you did two stitches but you only did one so that just helps make that side look normal and I do that quite often when I'm going over joins just to keep the look now single crochet one into each stitch all the way around and we're going to be doing this in a spiral so I'll meet you when we get back here so where we joined our yarn we did that slip stitch into that same stitch I'm gonna do a single crochet and now I'm gonna slip stitch over to the first real single crochet so we had lots of loops on our hook so it's a bit tight that's fine 
I'm going to single crochet into there and away we go. One single crochet into each stitch. So now we're in a spiral. We're going to do this for four rounds. If you want to make sure you don't lose track of where you started, because me I can see where I joined over here. I can kind of see that it's not totally straight. But if you'd like to not have to worry about it, just put in a stitch marker. So this is the one here, so I'll just put a little stitch marker that that's where I joined. You can see that's where we're stepping up, but as it gets taller, you won't notice that. You're also welcome to go in the round and step up each time with a turning chain. That's fine. But maximum laziness, working in a spiral. Now we're getting back to our join, where we joined. So just make one single crochet into each stitch. And that'll just even out that little hill. And you can see how that's evened out. We're not finished yet, but you can see that it's not, that hill part is disappearing. So keep going. So three rows, I'm going to start my handles. You can do four rows. I think I did three rows on this one. So I'm going to do it the same as this. So three rows. I thought it was four. But it's not. So now with your cute little bag, we are going to start our handle right where we are. So we just finished. You can see how this is our last row. So there's three rows here, one, two, and three. And there's three rows here, one, two, and three. So we're going to chain to make a chain for our handles. You can decide how big you want your handles to be. I make mine, I skip uh, nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I skip nine stitches and I do a chain of 25. So nine gets it just over and then that's your extra spot for your hand. Depends how big your hands are. And you remember crochet is gonna stretch. So um, you want it to be comfortable, but don't make it too long for this bag. So do a chain of 25. So there's 25. And then going across, skip nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So into the tenth stitch, put your hook in and do one single crochet. So that has attached your handle, and that is how big your handles will be. So it's enough for your hand to go in. So there's our single crochet to attach our handle. Now we're going to make 14 more single crochets for a total of 15 on the end of this bag, or on the end of this side, or on this side. So there's our 15 single crochets, including the single crochet where we joined. So I will be doing 25 chains right from here. So one, two, three. Okay, so there's 25. Now I'm just going to flip the bag over a little bit. And it helps also if you line up where you attached the handle on the underside to the new side, just to give you a visual of what you need to do. So skip nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine into the tenth single crochet. Oh, there's my single crochet. That counts as my first one. So now you're going to do 14 more single crochet along this side. So there's my 14th single crochet. There's one more spot there for my 15th. But because we already have our chain, we're going to do a decrease. And we decrease so that your handle bends up. So we're just going to be decreasing in this area so your handle doesn't flop out like that. It goes a bit flatter. So it's a bit fussier, but you get a nice looking handle 
and decreases we can manage. So put your hook into that next stitch and bring your yarn back and leave it on your hook, don't finish it. Go into the next stitch, now it's a chain stitch on your chain. Bring your yarn back, wrap your yarn and take off all three loops on your hook. So that decreases the last stitch of your band and the first stitch of your handle. So we're going to do that every time the handle meets the bag. So now go along your chain, just poking in your hook into your chain and making one single crochet into each chain. It doesn't matter if you go into your back loops, you can if you'd like, or your camel bumps back ridges. You can go and put one loop on your hook, you can put two loops on your hook. Whatever you want to do, just do it the same for each stitch. And I'll meet you at the end of this fiddly bit. So I'm working along my chain. I have this one, the last one on my chain, and my first one of the bag. So I'm going to do a decrease just so it gets a nice bit of an angled join. So start my single crochet into the last chain, the last stitch of my chain, and then go into the stitch on the bag, the band along the top of the bag, go into that one like regular, and then finish them both together. So you get a nice little decrease on that side of the handle as well. And now single crochet Till you reach the next handle. So for this handle we're going to do our decrease for this stitch here and that stitch there because this one belongs to the bag and that one belongs to the chain. So I'm going to do two more single crochets before we get there and then start the first one, keep it on your hook, start the second one, keep it on your hook, wrap your yarn and finish both stitches together. Now work your way up along the chain, one single crochet into each stitch, and do it however you did on your last handle. I'm just going into one loop, but however you did your last one, do it the same for this, and I'll meet you at the end of this handle. When you get close to your, uh, where the end of your handle is, take, take some time because you can look and see which ones you have to join. So this is the first one of my bag, that little guy down there, so I'm going to join him. And then this guy here, I'm going to join those two together. So I have one more to do. If you leave it too close, it can be confusing what you're looking at. So. I kind of plan ahead a bit for this decrease. And these are the only tricky ones. After this it's a lot easier to see. So start your first single crochet, go into that stitch and start your second single crochet, wrap your yarn and finish both single crochets together. Now keep going all around this side, one single crochet into each stitch. Oops. And I'll show you what we do when we get to our handle again. Now this one, we're going to stop with two stitches still left on the bag side of the band. So we're going to do two decreases, two onto the handle, and two before the handle. So I have one more single crochet to do. And then start your next start your second, wrap your yarn and take off all three loops or finish both of those single crochets at once. Do it again now into the next two single crochets. So bring your yarn back, go into the next stitch, bring your yarn back, wrap your yarn and take off all three. So that's two decreases for that round and we're going to do that for every time the handle gets close to the bag. So now this is a lot faster, just do your single crochets, one into every stitch. No more fiddling around and I'll just 
see when we get to this side here. So again, before you get to the to the end, just look at your work and see look at your work and see how many single crochets you are going to do before you start decreasing. So I'm going to decrease these two ones at the bottom and these two ones on the handle. So I have to do one more single crochet. So just take a look and figure that out before you get too close. So now I know that these two are going to be a decrease. So I'm just pushing my hook in and bringing my yarn back and again into the next stitch, bring the yarn back, wrap your yarn and take off all three. And again for these last two down here. So bring it back, bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off all three. So we're doing that every time the handle gets close to the bag. So now on this side you can see there's my last two down and then my two up. So make sure you slow down enough to see that. So do your decrease and turn your work up a tiny bit and do your decrease of the first two that go up the handle. And now keep going like regular one single crochet into each stitch. So take a look again. I have one more to do before I get to that decrease. And these two I'm decreasing. So start your single crochet, start your second single crochet, finish them both together and again for the next two. So start your single crochet, start your second single crochet and finish both together. You can keep going more if you want your straps wider than that. I don't because I just want it to be a little delicate, like a sweet little bag. So into the next single crochet I'm going to slip stitch like so and I'm going to cut my yarn. And you can and usually always should chain one to secure your work. You can also do an invisible join if you like because it is the top of your bag. But we'll just sew in that end. So just bring that end down. And you, I pull the first, the first time quite tight just to get that knot flush from my chain one. I don't want it uh, standing up or being bumpy. Now you can just wiggle your yarn down inside your work. And try to work it in from the back, the inside of your bag. Especially if you have fancy, not fancy, but this natural cotton can be a bit tricky. Something like that. A little bit back and forth and around. They say three directions for crochet just so your end doesn't come out. And you can trim it. We can take out our stitch marker where we started. And you can see we worked in the spiral, but you can't really see. Whoop! No, you can't see. <laughs> we worked in the spiral, but you can't really tell. I mean, you can if you really look at it, but. And then there's our little handles. And our handles stay up because we did those nice decreases on this side. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And stay hooked.